Alright guys, this is the start of the next uh, next project. We're working on a Saturday today. The boys are uh, are back here right now starting the excavation on this job. This is a pretty cool project. So we're working right now on the Ottawa River as where this house is located. Uh, we're doing some cool stuff here. So we're doing some, you can see behind me there, those are all pallets of interlock. So I think there's, I don't know, about 20 or 25 pallets there. So there's going to be interlock up front at the house here so i'll flip this around for a second so we're going to be putting some interlock we're going to be leaving those pillars but cutting out i'll walk over here and show you so <clears throat> this flagstone's kind of all rotted and, and chipping away so we're going to be cutting this out of here ripping out this step rebuilding basically all, all that area new walkway and changing the shape of this so this will all be interlock here uh in the front of the house over here there's going to be retaining walls so it's going to be kind of a squared away look, nice and modern and clean. So square across, comes across this way, I believe it cuts in, comes across, back in, tying into this interlock work here. And another retaining wall over here that comes across, squared away and goes into there too. So it's going to look really cool, really clean. The colors are nice, they're beautiful. Um, it's Tecla Block Brandon Wall Raffinado Cap. Uh, the wall shell gray, so it's going to match that brick beautifully. And the cap is onyx black, it's going to match the kind of soft fit fascia and that roof kind of uh, accent and their windows and their door kind of has that black to it. So color scheme wise is gonna look beautiful. Um, we're also, uh, there's a lot going on. So I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can. I don't want this to drag on too long. But, so on this job, we're obviously repaving the driveway. We're gonna rip out the driveway, excavate the driveway. All around here too, you see there's railroad ties around the driveway right now as a border. So we're gonna take all of those railroad ties out. We're gonna excavate all the perimeters. We're subbing in a concrete, guys. We, that's the one thing we don't do is concrete. Uh, and they're gonna, I'm just gonna quickly show you that. So the concrete will be, uh, all around here, so all those ties are all kind of rotting and broken away and not nicely shaped. They're all coming out around both sides. There'll be um, concrete going in there. Right here in the low spot, we're going to install a drain. There'll be a drain put in here, a concrete drain, four foot catch basin. Uh, there'll be a, uh, a pipe running from here across the driveway over there to the ditch area. Um, over here, I'll walk over here and just quickly kind of explain to you what's happening over here. Um, along this side, so there's a wall and a kind of a drop off over here. All along here, there's going to be an armor stone wall. Um, there'll be gabion stone down below it for washout and drainage purposes, and then armor stone on top of it. Uh, so that'll be here. So you're going to see, <coughs> I don't know if you can see in there or not well, but there's probably, uh, I'm going to say, a three foot elevation difference from where we're standing here down to there. So there'll be armor stone uh, starting roughly around here. I think it's 80 or 70 feet worth going all the way down to there. Uh, the interlock apron in front of the garage as well. So the interlock here, uh, we're, we're like I said, we're ripping out all the asphalt. Uh, I think that's it for up front. Back here is where the guys are starting today. So there's excavation work going on. We're taking the stump out. Uh, I believe we're taking all this vegetation out as well. Uh, those railroad ties are coming out. And then this morning before I got here, if you would have saw it then, it's kind of overgrown in this area. They already did a great job. Uh, Will was in here today with the uh, the eight ton, which is now sold. So this would be its last job uh, in here, ripping all the stuff out, excavating it out. So this area um, back here is gonna be paved. So we're gonna be paving this area now. They're gonna use it for storage. Um, for putting trailers on their, their docks and stuff like that. So all back here will be asphalt. So we're excavating this out. We'll start putting geocloth down, bringing in our, our base material. And then basically all the paving section that would be back here is gonna connect up to the new driveway uh, back into there. So that's kind of a quick overview. I'll get the drone in the air when we start the job uh, or can keep the job going in a few weeks. This job will kind of be done in sections because we have to kind of do the excavation work, bring in uh, the sub for the concrete, let him do his work, and then we'll come back to the interlock, do the asphalt, armor stone wall. So it will be a few sections um, for the process, but that's kind of the start of it, guys. So we'll keep things going here. We can prepare to kill the operation
nation It ain't fair, but I feel it be the nation To raise the flag and do the preparation Welcome to reality, there's no way back Welcome to reality, there's no way back guys here we go it's uh, just after lunch we uh, we got all the asphalt peeled out this morning uh, we had some we had to do some electrical work in the backyard some electrical I think some some piping as well for some irrigation uh, there's a new homeowner that that owns this house so sometimes when you start a project and someone is a new homeowner they don't know where all the stuff in the ground on the property is so that could be dog wires for dog fences all kinds of stuff so it's a little bit of a learning curve sometimes to figure that stuff out uh, but we got it figured out. We had to run some new wires for them and uh, get in some conduits. That's all taken care of now, so that's good. Uh, the boys are getting this driveway uh, dug out. So we got Liam up here doing an awesome job in the uh, eight ton right there, loading up the, uh, the 19 car axle. Uh, we'll take a peek up here, see what Will's doing. But there's one shovel up here running. Will's back here running the uh, 10 ton with the rotor tilt. Just stopped right now to talk to Caden, but. Uh, He's got the 10 ton up here rocking. Um, we're getting used to the rotor tilt. We've only had this rotor tilt for a few weeks now, so everyone's getting used to it and figuring out how to use it and what's most productive and stuff like that. This stuff's really sandy, so we're waiting on our 51 inch smooth bucket uh, front rotor tilt. Right now we have a, there's a, that's a 36 inch tooth bucket. Uh, it's not what I ideally like to use for bombing out sandy stuff, but it's all we got right now. Uh, Liam's the 259 right here. Uh, he's kind of just moving behind Will so he can excavate faster with the tooth bucket on uh, and kind of not worry about making a perfect grade. Liam will come behind him in the skids here, fix the grade up as he goes so Will can focus on just kind of filling the truck and getting the trucks moving as fast as we can. So that's where we're at guys. Uh, Liam, Will and Liam are doing an awesome job. It's awesome watching these guys bomb around in the machines and, and kill it. They're doing a great job. So let's uh, keep on keeping on and we'll check in with you guys after the uh, digging's all done here. guys good morning uh, we are I'm trying to think here we are day I guess technically day three today's gonna be a lot of gravel so actually the two trucks are coming down the road now and will spreading this uh, this three inch geo matting's in so there's one right now in the machine there's the boys right now coming down with the two of our tracks coming in so jump over here so this is the road we're building in right now I'll show you guys We'll go over here quickly, skip up to here. So again, this cavity's here up the sides on purpose. It's for the uh, concrete curbing. Uh, today we're probably gonna get this concrete here pulled out once we have our road built in. Uh, but the big thing right now, Kendall's setting up the laser over here. And what we're gonna do is, you can see, I'll try to zoom in for you, sorry, up there with the concrete patch basin slash drain. So there's a concrete drain going in 
right here. So all the water from the job from up at the road, it all comes down here. That water there comes all down this way. There'll be a cat concrete catch basin in here. So right now what we're gonna do is while the guys kind of start bringing the driveway gravel into us here, keeps them busy, keeps the trucks moving. I'm gonna be up here um, in the 10 ton over there with Kendall and uh, a couple guys in the ground. We're gonna dig a hole here for the drain, uh, put some clear stone down in, trench a hole through here over to the bush line, get the uh, the pipe, we have an eight inch pipe that's going in there that attaches into the side of the drain and get that installed. So that's what you're gonna see right now uh, as the boys keep on going with the driveway and that's gonna where we're at guys. Look at all you've gone through, all the crazy and the bittersweet too, all the while your heart's on fire, keeping all to your own desire. Look at all you've endured, heartaches that have crushed your worth, all the while your mind Oh, that is a wrong today, description. <laughs> With the internet today, you do not want that as your description. Is this Kendall's hole? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my hole's right here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you have a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hole. Right there. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can see the inside hole. <laughs> <laughs> Look at guys we oh that's way too zoomed in fuck that all right guys we're back it's after lunch we got our uh our Grinch pipe now installed our catch basins installed we can finally start bridging the gap here and filling this in uh here's the catch basin here so i'll just show you quickly before we kind of continue on with the job here so it's a four foot concrete catch basin i think it's a four inch thick uh, wall on it it's an eight inch pvc uh i believe it's called a pvc pipe down there it's eight inches uh, in diameter rather um just a solid pipe there's there's i think three or i think there's three links we have three links sorry four links up there i think they're 20 foot sections and i think we still have one more so the pipe's up here take a quick run up here and show you this is the pipe here so there it is so there's one more to go on we actually have to cut that like i think there's eight feet left to go still but we're just gonna backfill this right now. The pipe comes through over here. There, uh, we have geo matting on top of it, and then they're gonna they're putting some granular A right now on top of that. About uh, eight inches of it right now, and then we're gonna pack this. 
another lift pack it, another lift pack it. This actually here, this height up here, is actually the excavation height that we first did the driveway at. So we have to put, that's it, roughly, let's say even a foot of stone, another foot of stone, and then a little more to get on top of our excavation grade, and a foot on top of that, that's the actual driveway there. So there's lots of gravel on top of that pipe. Down here, it's probably gonna be roughly three and a half feet uh, in the ground. We're getting there, we're making progress. We're gonna keep on trucking here and, and uh, it's looking awesome. So let's keep on going. Guess I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast, and that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes.
guys good morning we are down here at the job site this morning it's the uh, our our last day was technically yesterday so yesterday I was on a different job site with the guys we did an excavation on a driveway and we're heading the rest of the crews up there at this other project getting it ready for asphalt right now I wanted to stop in here this morning just give you guys a quick update the job here now is wrapped up as far as for what we can do for now so the interlock is all in the driveway is prepped for asphalt uh, the Armstrong wall is in the back and we also excavated and prepped a section uh, for next year for, for interlock. There's going to be a fire pit in the patio and stuff like that. So the, uh, this, this project is on a pause till the concrete, uh, a friend of mine actually, from, his name's Connor from Totalscape, he's going to come in here and do the concrete curbing. So around the driveway, all around the edges. Uh, once that's done, it'll cure for a few weeks and we're going to come back and pay the driveway. So the video will continue on uh, when the concrete's done. We come back in, we got to just touch up the grade and then uh, get ready for asphalt. So um, quick, quick walk around as to what we have done up to this point, just give you guys a quick update, and then I'll continue filming when the uh, concrete's done and the asphalt uh, part uh, resumes. So I'll just quickly turn this around, guys. Um, so here's our, our interlock. So this is a, a blue smooth shell gray uh, border, and it's a double border with a uh, onyx black Velagio on the inside. There's Hexa, uh, which is shell gray. These are all Techo Block products. Uh, with in lights so you can see these are little LED um, lights inside of there and they're made to give you like a star effect is what we call it so they're kind of randomly kind of placed in and at night time which you'll see some night shots I'll update into the video uh, it really gives a really beautiful effect under all the caps all the retaining walls all have um, LED light lighting as well so there's lights underneath all the caps uh, we put in these boulders as a really cool design and our guys did these amazing beautiful cuts um, to really show off and complement the boulders we put in there. Um, steps have lights as well, so there's a few in lights in this landing. I think there's three of them in this landing up here and then up at the front door. So this used to be a concrete, <coughs> excuse me, 
um, porch. It now is an interlock porch with a new step built on it because the, the existing concrete one was rotten. And we were able to uh, salvage the uh, the pillars that were already on the house. So that's nice because those weren't weren't affected by the construction. Uh, we have we have topsoil, so it's beautiful trimix fabric cloth, and there's this nice black mulch uh, that we put in the garden beds. There's water lines underneath, so this is ready to go for um, whatever they want to plant in there. And then on this side, same thing. So you know we put a couple uh, beautiful armor stone boulders in there. This one here is super cool. So check this out. Our guys did a super super cool job. So um, we cut it here so the cap goes right through. The uh, or gives you the, the illusion that it goes right through the um, the armor stone, and then look at the cuts in here so beautifully cut into there. And then we put a light right here, right on the outside. So at nighttime, this all illuminates down onto the um, the boulder and really shows it off. It's really, really cool. So that's that. Um, for the front here so really beautiful stunning entrance and when you see this at nighttime which again i will put those shots in the video it's uh it's super super cool uh the shots are, are awesome so i'll walk you over here we did an interlock apron as well in front of the garage door so i'll show you what that uh apron looks like and uh this is it here so there's uh we did the garden bit has that kind of triangular shape as well and so we wanted to bring it over here the house the house has lots of these kind of triangular uh, peaks and stuff to it. So this this really complements and goes with it really nicely. So this is uh, same materials So you have the the hexa Villaggio and um, Blue smooth there is this step so in case anyone sees this step and was wondering what we're thinking or what's going on The step here so the threshold so the bottom of that door is is taller than the garage floor So we had to put this little we called a trip hazard step because that's really what it is But it has to be there because that height does not work. We couldn't um, Bring up the interlock because it'd be way too you know dramatic of a of an increase from there to there so we had to put a little step in there uh so not ideal but you have to work with the heights that you're given when you're in, in landscaping so that's that so that's that apron it's in and then we dug all this out and this is all prepped for asphalt that's the section back there that's going to be uh, interlocked next year as well as this walkway right there and here's the armor stone so there's armor stone um wall here there used to be a big tree that was right there that we took out so there was a big tree there armor stone wall up the side we put gaping stone in behind just a way to clear clean up the dead space that's in there and all along the armor stone the whole way up there's that gaping stone in there that's just going to help give the wall extra support um water too like when the where the water is graded it's going to run off and come this way so it's going to go through the armor stone and wash out down on the side so the gaping stone is there to give that support and shouldering so that there's never any washout or anything that will affect this wall in the future and then going along the wall here um there's our pipe down there so the last major thing we did for the job was install this drain so that's an eight inch pipe that goes all the way underneath the driveway over here uh, to the drain we put in. So this is a concrete catch basin, steel grade on it, like super, super strong, can take a high water flow given that there's an 8-inch pipe in there. And the reason that we put this drain in here is because when the concrete goes all the way around here, around over there, there's going to be concrete all the way here. So there's curbings on, up basically the whole driveway. So all the water from the driveway will be coming in and then going into that, that catch basin. So we had to make sure that whatever uh, we installed in there could could handle that, that uh, water flow and it wouldn't be something that would cause the customers ever an, an issue. So very confident with that, that it'll be fine. Um, so that's it guys. So this is just a quick walk around of what we got done. Um, I think we were six days total, I'm pretty sure on the job. So that, that's at the six day mark. Full excavation of the driveway, interlock installed, armor stone installed. Um, prepped ready to go for asphalt basically so um, again the video will will take back up when the concrete work is done and then we can get the uh the uh asphalt going so that's it for now thanks for uh for watching we'll uh, kick back on when the asphalt is ready to go